In another major story that we're following tonight, Hurricane Joaquin strengthened to a Category 4 with winds of 130 miles an hour. It is moving slowly through the Bahamas, where some of the less populated islands are getting hammered. 10 to 15 inches of rain expected. Waves are running up to 10 feet above normal. So far, no injuries reported. Late today, there was a major change in the direction of the hurricane. So let's bring in Lonnie Quinn, the chief weathercaster at our New York station, WCBS. Lonnie, what's new? Okay, a lot of changes from when we were talking about this yesterday. Now, if you take a look at the 5 o'clock update from the National Hurricane Center, we still have a Cat 4 hurricane. This is a big storm, 130 mile per hour winds, but it's all about where this storm is going. And as of yesterday, we're starting to see a trend now pushing it further and further to the east. This is yesterday. We thought for sure going to North Carolina, maybe Virginia. Well, as of today, look at this. This morning, they now have that cone huge anywhere from South Carolina to Massachusetts because we didn't know exactly where it was going. The models were not in consensus. Well, now we continue to push it further to the east, and now it's a Cat 2 on Sunday, somewhere off the Outer Banks, but not even putting the Outer Banks in that cone for a landfall. And then you get to sometime on Monday, uh, even possibly into Tuesday. Here it is, offshore of our area, the skinny red line not making a landfall, but the cone of concern still includes the Northeast, so you cannot let your guard down just yet, Scott. But Lonnie, if the hurricane does not make landfall, what are the effects likely to be anyway? Uh, look, look, you're gonna feel this hurricane. It's got a huge water plume to it, so you're gonna pick up a lot of rain, and places that have been just saturated already. We're talking Virginia, we're talking North Carolina. I think they could end up picking, potentially, associated with the storm, double-digit rainfall amounts. So uh, flooding's gonna be a problem, coastal erosion as well. Lonnie Quinn, WCBS, thank you, Lonnie.